Ola Niv had it in the bag and then started walking at some one point, so <laughs> you just don't know what's going to happen. And we think Ashley Gentle's ahead, but just don't count out anything. Well, they are on their final lap now as the crowds continue to gather to help these athletes bring it home. Lucy Charles Barkley, who led this race for so very long, still looking good on the run for that third position. She's not letting Ashley Gentle out of her sights, but Annie Haug, very dominant since she put on her runners. Yeah, just looking smooth in control. So many experience, so much experience now that Annie Haug has from kind of that short distance career going to the Olympics and now through to all distances, middle distance. She's obviously good at this distance, Collins Cut. She's really just a performer on every level. An absolute pleasure to watch running. It doesn't look like her tank's running dry at all. Just Maintaining a really fast pace. And she's so far clear now of, of the others. I suppose it's just that keeping in the right zone, just don't, not forgetting to do anything, not getting carried away. That doesn't look like she is at all, because we've seen her kind of take on new nutrition, slow down at the aid stations, but really keeping your head when everything's kind of going on. You might have that occasional thought coming to your mind, I'm going to win, but you just can't maybe cancel it out. Just keep staying in the moment, staying where you are staying focused until you're really, really close to the end. She's been involved in this sport for so very long. Olympic Games back in 2012. And she's been achieving at the highest level. 2017, she was winning 70.3 races and consistently been doing so. Always hitting those podiums, it feels like as well. Yeah, and, and all today, just coming from quite a big deficit in the swim, she rode incredibly well, kept herself in the race, and just knowing, I suppose, knowing you've got this kind of run in your back pocket, it's just, it probably makes the whole race a little bit more relaxing. Yeah. And again, for Ashley Gentle, she's Ooh. just nearly the wrong side of the cone, yeah. <laughs> just making sure she's the right way. I think this is a good start for her for the season, and maybe taking a bit of pressure off. There we've got our first and second on screen. Annie Haug building up that lead though. She's, she's going to be almost two minutes by the end. This is such a dominant run. Yeah, maybe just not got that high turnover we saw at the start of the run, but she's still pushing. She's not got far to go now. Yeah, she's keeping the gap. She's maintaining relative to the field. There's one and a half kilometers to go. Annie Haug featured in the Collins Cup. But we haven't seen her on a tour race. We certainly, well, she's certainly making an indelible mark today. She's got one more dead turn to do, and then it's all straight back towards, uh, no more of the, the turns, all straight running all the way back down to the finish chute been a fantastic performance by Annie Haug. Real quality triathletes. And I think on paper, you could see her results already were good this year, but she hadn't raced anyone, you know, in that top and maybe just didn't have the hype around her that some of the other, other athletes have. But yeah, just to come in here and uh, completely smash the first race of the season, I'm, I'm sure we'll see this in other races of this distance through the rest of the year. There's Ashley Gentle rounding the statue down in Ibiza town. In your smaller box. The gap is over two minutes. As either Ashley Gentle slowing down or Annie Haug is speeding up. I'm not sure which. Yeah, I'm not sure which, but maybe a bit of both. 
And I think just maybe we saw her mentality a little bit there. She just loves those sessions where she just goes hard on the treadmill for as long as possible. And maybe that's maybe that mindset she's in today. She doesn't need to ease back. She's just going to keep pushing to the line because it's just what she loves to do. 700 metres now for Annie Haug. She can almost smell that finish line. I feel like she's picking it up yeah. for the finish. She feels, Why not? Wind it up. I'm sure she might take the time to uh, to enjoy the finish, but yeah, she's just enjoying pushing herself to the absolute limits and thriving off racing the best women in the world. It's just been a fantastic performance from her today. So solid, and then the run has just been outstanding. She took control very early on, didn't she? She just came out of there just, just fast, moved into the lead and just hasn't looked back. Ninth out of T2. And then just ran down the field to assume the top spot as she's now going to bring it home. We just saw her passing Ashley Gentle there, and you can see then how big that gap actually is. Yeah, over two minutes to the second place, Ashley Gentle. Lucy she Charles Barkley, sorry, it's a Lucy Charles Barkley as well, within 22 seconds. So although that gap went out, it has stayed the same. She's hung tough. She's really, she's just such a survivor, isn't she? Just digs in so deep. Annie Haug ignored the aid station as she makes her final turns. This. On the coast of the Mediterranean. They're bringing this one home. The inaugural PTO European Tour race here in Ibiza. Annie Haug. Not long to go now before she'll meet the cheers. There must be a sign of a smile now. I'm sure she's got a smile on her face. She's almost there. Oh, it's just been wonderful to watch and just the way that she attacks the tarmac is quite incredible. Yeah, there's a wave. Here we go. She makes that corner. It has been one of the most celebrated fields in women's triathlon. But Annie Haug has run through to win the PTO European Tour race here in Ibiza. What a run. Wow, just what a performance. Absolutely incredible. Just demolished the field on the run. She's. She's, I mean, there's people running from behind, but she just got herself in the perfect position that just executed that amazing run. Brilliant stuff. And she deserves a sit down as well. <laughs> Definitely deserves a chance to sit down, yeah. <laughs> you can see there, she, she didn't have to push that hard, but that's just here. She wanted to get everything out of herself.